good morning good evening good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this welcome to ssc and welcome to current affairs quiz show brought to you by ssc in which we shall discuss 30 important mcqs for the fourth week of october 2022 uh, discussing the current affairs of october okay fourth week 30 important mcqs so let us proceed let us take a brief overview of this session we have 30 mcqs in the quiz format first of all followed by we'll have homework questions by the way there are no homework questions today and then we have important dates important news persons in news places in news and countries in news and at the end bonus questions so let us proceed there are total of 30 mcqs in quiz format and i request you all to please participate in the quiz as at the end of each question you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you can write the correct answer in the uh, live chat box during the premiere or in the comment box if you're watching the recorded one okay so write your answers in the comment box and do let me know in the comments that how much did you score out of 30 okay check yourself so let us proceed the first question who has become the first indian wrestler to win gold medal at under 20 world wrestling championships the options are there and your time begins now the first indian wrestler to win under 20 uh, under 23 world wrestling championships gold medal Sajan Bhavala, Aman Seherawat, Nitesh Chawla or Vikas Singh the correct answer to this question is Aman Seherawat okay he made history in wrestling as he became the first Indian wrestler to win gold medal at the under 23 world wrestling championship and the venue is important it was held in Spain okay remember the venue Spain so I hope it is clear let's proceed to the next question the next question is which state has won the first position in Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban, which is abbreviated as PMAYU awards in 2021? Okay, which state won the first position in this? The options are there and your time begins now. Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, or Gujarat. Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Uttar Pradesh. So Uttar Pradesh has uh, won the first position in this PMAY Urban Awards 2021. Okay, Uttar Pradesh. I hope it is clear. Let's go to the next question. Who has won US Grand Prix 2022? Okay, Formula One US Grand Prix 2022. The options are there. Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen or Sebastian Vettel. US Grand Prix 2022 has been won by Max Verstappen. Okay, and he belongs to the team Red Bull. And let me tell you that recently the owner of Red Bull had died. Okay, we discussed this, I think, in previous week's uh, current affairs. Uh, what is the name of the owner of Red Bull? Okay, Red Bull Racing Team and also the owner of Red Bull Energy Drink. Okay, both are the same brands. The owner of Red Bull recently died. And Max Verstappen, he won US Grand Prix. He belongs to Red Bull Racing Team. Okay, so. I hope it is clear. Let's proceed to the next question. Max Verstappen and uh, Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes was the runner-up. Okay, Max Verstappen, uh, he uh, defeated Lewis Hamilton. And these two names, by the way, are the very important names of Formula One racing. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen, remember, he is from Netherlands. Okay, and uh, he belongs to Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton is from United Kingdom, and he belongs to the team Mercedes. Okay, so. Both these names are important. This US Grand Prix 2022 has been won by Max Verstappen. So I hope it is clear. Let's go to the next question. Which Indian movie has been announced as the best movie by International Federation of Film Critics, which is abbreviated as FIPRSCI, which is Fibreski. Okay, Fibreski. The options are there and your time begins now. Which Indian movie has been announced as the best movie by International Film Federation of Film Critics? A Projito. Pathar Panchali, the world of Apuf or the hero, the correct answer is Pathar Panchali. Okay, Pathar Panchali. By the way, this Pathar Panchali is a 1955 film. Okay, 1955 uh, years film. Okay, more than 60 years old film. And uh, this film has been made by legendary filmmaker Satyajit Ray. Okay, the most uh, legendary director of Indian filmmaking. Satyajit Ray, Pathar, Pansari. Okay, more details on the screen as well as on the PDF. Let's proceed to the next question. Next. Tarai Elephant Reserve, T-E-R, is the third elephant reserve of India and has been approved to be set up in which state? Tarai Elephant Reserve. The options are there and your time begins now. 
Terai Elephant Reserve, third elephant reserve of India. Uttar Pradesh, Mizoram, Madhya Pradesh, or Tamil Nadu. The correct answer to this question is Uttar Pradesh. Okay, uh, Terai Elephant Reserve is in Uttar Pradesh, and it is the third uh, elephant reserve in India approved to be set up. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Please write in the comment box that. Which is the first elephant reserve in India? Okay, this may be asked, right? This is the current affairs, and it can be asked as the static one. Okay, the third recently it was made, and which one is the first one? Okay, so this kind of you need to link static with current affairs in this way. So this is it. Now, if you want the PDF of all the sessions in SSC Sikkim, including this one, then it will cost you four hundred rupees, in which you shall get international, national, and state current affairs in just rupees four hundred. You get past ten months Sikkim current affairs, past one year Sikkim current affairs. Past six months national international current affairs, Sikkim current affairs MCQs, past year Sikkim GK solved, and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics PDF. Okay, so for this you need to send a message to this number seven seven nine seven zero five eight six five nine. And if you want the PDF of only this session, then it is absolutely a kind of free only. Okay, just you need to pay rupees ten. Okay, so rupees ten is. A very very small amount to pay for this PDF. Uh, click on the link in the description for that. Pay rupees ten via any payment method. After payment, wait for the PDF in the Google Drive link to open automatically. Do not press the back button and save the PDF in your device, else the PDF will be lost. Okay, please follow these steps carefully before proceeding to buy the PDF of this session. And for all the sessions, you can get it at rupees four hundred. So let next question. Garuda six exercise is jointly conducted by which country? Okay, they are. It's a bilateral exercise conducted by which two countries? France and India, USA and India, Sri Lanka and India, Singapore and India. The correct answer is France and India. Okay, France and India. It's a joint a bilateral exercise between France and India. I hope it is uh, clear. More details on the screen. There are other exercises also between France and India. Military exercises, which are the Sakti Varun. uh this one is garud okay sakti varun garud and there is one more i think uh, desert night desert night if i am not wrong okay sakti varun garud desert night okay these are the four uh i am pretty confused on this desert night one please correct me if i am wrong okay but sakti varun and garud are the definitely uh exercise bilateral exercise between france and india okay just little confused between desert night please correct me next Rashtriya Ekta Divas is observed in India to mark the birth anniversary of whom? I think you can answer it. Okay, by his name, there is a statue in Gujarat, Statue of Unity. I think it's pretty clear. The most easiest one in this quiz. The correct answer is Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Okay, so every year on October thirty-one, remember the date as well. Okay, it can be asked that when was. Rashtriya Ekta Divas celebrated. It's every year. October thirty-one is the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, who played a major role in political integration of India. Rashtriya Ekta Divas was introduced by the government of India in twenty fourteen. Okay, so twenty fourteen was the year in which this Rashtriya Ekta Divas was introduced on every year on October thirty-one. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Let's go to the next question. Who has been elected as the new president of Brazil? Again, very important. Okay. this kind of questions have the very high probability of getting asked in upcoming exams new president of brazil jair bolsonaro antonio brito luis inacio lula da silva a pretty long name and geraldo alckmin the correct answer is the longest one which is luis inacio lula da silva okay i repeat luis inacio lula da silva this is the he is the president new president of brazil so more details on the screen as well as on the pdf next Which Indian duo has won the French Open men's double title? The options are there, and your time begins now. French Open men's double title. Dhruv Kapil and M R Arjun as uh, Sanjeev and Manish Gupta. Satvish Saraj, Rani Reddy and Chirag Shetty, or B Sumit Reddy and Manu Atri. The correct answer to this question is uh, the option C, which is. Satvik Sairaj, Rani Kreddy, and Chirag Shetty uh, both have won the French Open Super 750 title. Okay, Super 750 title with a straight game victory over Chinese Tapai uh, Lu Xingyao and Yang Po Hang in the men's double final. So uh, details on the screen. 
Next question. As per the World Energy Outlook 2022 report, global emission was, will peak by which year? The options are there and your time begins now. Global emissions will peak by which year? World Energy Outlook 2022. It's a very alarming situation. Global emissions will peak by 2025, okay, as per this World Energy Outlook. And who releases it? This can also be asked. It is released by International Energy Agency, which is IEA. Please write in the comment, where is the headquarter of IEA? This has also been asked uh, many times in exams, okay, IEA's headquarter. So this can be asked, right? Okay, so because it's related to the current affairs, so IEA's headquarter. Next. C-295 aircraft manufacturing facility has been inaugurated in which state? C-295 aircraft manufacturing facility. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Gujarat. Okay, it has been inaugurated in Gujarat. Another one. Who has become the first Indian origin prime minister of UK? If you can't answer this then you are completely out of the world <laughs> this is the easiest one there are two easy questions in this session today one was Sardavala Bhai Patel and the second one is this which is Rishi Sunak okay so Rishi Sunak has been uh, has become the first Indian origin prime minister of United Kingdom so uh, it can be asked that who was the predecessor of uh, Rishi Sunak okay before Rishi Sunak who was there it was Les Truss okay she resigned and before Les Truss who was there uh, it was Boris Johnson, okay, he had also resigned. So, this is the chronology of British, uh, UK's Prime Minister. So, I hope this is clear, Rishi Sunak. Next, who has been awarded the 2022 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought? Okay, it's 2022 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought. <laughs> Alexei Navalny, Malala Yousafzai, Dalai Lama or Ukrainian people? The correct answer to this question is Ukrainian people. So the people of Ukraine has been awarded uh, annual Sakharov Prize 2022 for freedom of thought by the European Parliament. The award is given to honor their fight against Russia's invasion. Okay, you know Russia's and Ukraine's war. So this is it. Next, who has been named as the captain of Indian hockey team for FIH Pro League 2022-23? captain of Indian hockey team. The options are there and your time begins now. For uh, FIH Pro League 22-23. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Harman Preet Singh. Okay, Harman Preet Singh has been named as the captain of 22-member Indian hockey team for opening games of fourth season of uh, International Hockey Federation FIH Pro League okay so this is it so let's proceed by the way the uh, host of this year's FIH Pro League 2022-23 is also Spain okay Spain uh, twice in news on this week next Tesla chief Elon Musk has taken over which social media platform oh my god easy on easy questions okay a lot of easy questions I think you should answer it the correct answer is Twitter okay so uh, it was in news recently and uh, finally Elon Musk has recently bought Twitter and uh, it was finalized with 44 billion dollars okay 44 billion dollars and uh, uh, this is it Elon Musk uh, confirmed in October 2022 that he will move forward with Twitter buyout at the original agreed price of rupees 54.20 per share okay so I hope it is clear uh, remember the amount of 44 billion dollars next which airport in india has been ranked the world's 10th busiest one the options are there and your time begins now world's 10th busiest airport world's 10th busiest airport is indira gandhi international airport which is in delhi okay so it is the world's 10th busiest airport so this is it. Let's go to the next question. What is the initiative launched by the Assam government and US agency for international development, USAID? Okay, the options are there and your time, uh, sorry, 
the answer got revealed anyways let's leave this okay the name of the initiative is trees beyond forest okay trees beyond forest a bonus marks for you next which country has beaten china and bangladesh to become india's third largest export destination the options are there and your time begins third largest export destination the largest export destination of india is usa the second largest is uae and the third largest is now netherland okay beating china and bangladesh okay so uh, as you can see the us and uae continue be the continue to be the largest and the second largest export destination and the third largest is now netherlands so this is it next which institute won national intellectual property award for 2021 and 2022 the options are there national intellectual property award iit kharagpur iit kanpur iit delhi or iit madras national intellectual property award it has been won by iit madras okay iit madras next again which indian institute along with nasa has studied the interactions between microbes in the international space station the options are there which indian institute along with nasa has studied interactions between microbes in the international space station iit kharagpur iit kanpur iit delhi or iit madras the options uh, the time is over the correct answer is iit madras again okay so iit madras is in news for two different reason first of all uh, iit madras has received national intellectual property award and then again iit madras have uh, uh, along with nasa has studied the interaction between microbes in the iac okay international space station next which air command won the air force lawn tennis championship 2022 2023 the options are there and your time begins now which air command won air force lawn tennis championship 2022 23 western air command eastern air command northern air command or southern air command the correct answer is western air command okay western air command of indian air force won the air force lawn tennis championship 2022-23 held at headquarter mc vayu sena nagar in nagpur i hope it is clear more details on the screen let's go to the next question which state achieved 100% household tap connections under jal jeevan mission the options are there 100% and uh, household tap connections under jal jeevan mission odisha gujarat haryana or himachal pradesh the correct answer to this question is gujarat okay gujarat has achieved 100% household tap connections under jal jeevan mission next which indian beach or the beaches from lakshadweep entered in the coveted list of blue beaches the options are there and your time begins now minikoy thundi beach kadmat breeze or both minikoy thundi and kadmat breeze or none of the above the answer is quite obvious it's both minikoy thundi and kadmat breeze okay they have been uh, entered in a coveted list of blue beaches with more details on the screen next who won fifa under 17 2022 world cup under 17 the options are there and your time begins now spain Colombia, Brazil, Japan. This question has also very high probability of coming in exam. FIFA Under 17 2022 World Cup. Well, it has been won by Spain. Okay, so defending champion Spain has beaten Colombia by 1-0 to win 2022 Under 17 Women's World Cup, and this was held in India. Okay, so India was the host in uh, D Y Patil Stadium in Navi Mumbai. Okay, Nigeria stood at the third spot. So Spain won the tournament. Colombia was the runner-up, and Nigeria was the second runner-up. I hope it is clear. More details on the screen and PDF. Next, winner of best international film at Saturn Award 2022 is which film? Okay, best international film at Saturn Award. Is it P S One? Is it R R R? Is it Kantara or is it Puspa the Rice? The best international film at Saturn Awards 2022 is RRR, directed by S S Raja Mauli. Okay, a pretty uh, important uh, and a very interesting film. Okay, a pretty good film. So I hope it is clear. Next uh, question: Which 
company is recognized as country's most sustainable oil and gas company the options are there and your time begins now okay your time begins now bpcl bharat petroleum corporation limited rpl reliance petroleum limited hindustan petroleum or oil india country's most sustainable oil and gas company is bpcl which is bharat petroleum corporation limited more details on the screen as well as on the pdf let's go to the next screen the next question which uh, who won sultan of johor cup 2022 sultan of johor cup the options are there and your time begins now australia south africa sri lanka or india sultan of johor cup 2022 has been won by india okay india uh, indian junior men's hockey team okay it's a hockey cup and uh, india defeated australia to win sultan of johor cup 2022 okay answer is d india and this was held uh, at malaysia okay at tamandaya hockey stadium in johor baharu malaysia okay johor cup so it's held by malaysia i hope it is clear next question which is india's first geo heritage site very very important india's first geo heritage site Momlu cave, Alora cave, Badami cave or Bora cave. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Molmu cave. Okay, so the International Union of Geological Sciences, which is IUGS, one of the largest scientific organizations of the UNESCO, it has recognized Molmu cave. And where is it located? It's located in northeast, that is East Khasi Hills district of Meghalaya, and it is one of the first IU is geological sites okay so the first india's uh, geo heritage site is malmo cave in meghalaya i hope it is clear uh, next simbex 2022 maritime exercise is between which country and india the options are there the second last question this one is is it between sri lanka and india between singapore and india between Seychelles and india or between sudan and india the time is over. The correct answer to this question is between Singapore and India. Simbex. The full form of Simbex is Singapore India Maritime Bilateral Exercise. Simbex. Okay. So I hope it is clear. More details on the screen. Next. First Indian company to post earning calls in Metaverse is which company? Okay. To post earning calls on Metaverse. Reliance Industry Limited, BSNL, Airtel, or none of the above. The time is over the correct answer is reliance industry limited okay reliance industry limited is the first company to post earning calls in metaverse so with this we complete all 30 uh, quiz questions okay today's questions were pretty easy one so i hope you have scored well please write your answers that how much did you score out of 30 in the comment box so now uh, as i said that we don't have four more questions today let's directly jump into bonus questions so bonus questions are uh, there are no timers for this question but still if you want to answer these questions you can just pause the video and answer and then resume the video okay in case you want to answer the question and i'd recommend that you try to answer okay because this will increase the chances of your retention okay retention of answers so the first question is cop 27 the 27th annual un meeting on climate will be held in which country spain poland egypt or peru the correct answer is egypt okay it will be held in egypt 27th annual summit more details on the screen orbital rail corridor has been launched in which state of india it has been launched in haryana jackson green signed an mou with which state government to invest 22400 crore rupees in a phased green hydrogen and ammonia project it's rajasthan okay jackson green signed mou with rajasthan for this project which cold ring company established billion dollar market in india it's sprite okay sprite which is uh, the uh, what do you say a branch of coca-cola okay uh, so it is lemon and lime flavored soft drink of coca-cola sprite it has established billion dollar market in india which of the following has agreed to merge its indian entertainment business with z entertainment enterprise the options are there and the correct answer is sony okay so sony and z media groups have voluntarily agreed to sell their three hindi channels which is 
big magic z action and z classic to address possible anti competition concerns arising out of the proposed mega merger deal so sony sony and z have merged okay you can you can remember it this way next which of the following armed forces to merge with drone federation of india to promote indigenous drone technology it's indian navy okay indian navy will uh, merge with drone federation of india which is the first logistic company to connect to the indian government's ondc network ondc network it's sip rocket okay sip rocket the ondc full form of ondc is open network for digital commerce okay ondc next indian navy participates in maiden trilateral exercise with which country is it mozambique tanzania or both the correct answer is both mozambique and tanzania okay so maiden trilateral exercise between uh, mozambique and tanzania indian navy so i hope it is clear uh, the indian navy was represented by a guided missile brigade ins tarkas and a chetak helicopter and a marcos so more details on the screen next who creates three new nations record at Kilo india national ranking women's weightlifting tournament the correct answer is akangsa vivahari okay she created new national records at Kilo india national ranking women's weightlifting tournament how did she create report uh, create this record you can see the details on the screen next which government kicked off campaign the allow of patake nahi for green diwali i think this question got repeated we had already done this it's delhi okay delhi government so now we have important days of october 4th week 2022 okay the questions are asked from important days okay at least you can expect two to three questions in every exams okay very high probability and uh, these are also asked and more than that these days themes are asked i've been repeating this frequently themes as you can see there's one theme here in this screen uh word psoriasis day which falls on 29th of october and its theme is unloading psoriatic disease okay so just have a look on all these days you can pause the video next we have world cities day world thrift day national unity day themes are given have a look okay national unity day birth anniversary of uh, sadha vallabhai patel 31st October, we just uh, discussed this in quiz as well. And now let's have a look on persons in news. Okay, Dr. Vimal Jalan, he authored book title From Dependence to Self Reliance. So this can be asked, right? Books and authors. Akshay Science Stephen Alter compiled and edited a new book, The COVID Papers. So this is another important book. Government of India appoints Sangeeta Verma as acting chairperson of Competition Council of India. Okay. Uh, Sefali Zuneza named as the chairperson of the United Nations Air Transport Committee. United States appoint uh, Elizabeth Zons to serve as charge the affairs at U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. Now we have few more. Elon Musk fires Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal. Okay, recently Elon Musk had acquired Twitter and he fired Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal. Srimati Draupadi Murmu, the president of India, she presented silver trumpet and trumpet banner to the president's bodyguard. Delhi's lieutenant governor, who is Vijay Kumar Saxena, he launched property tax uh, amnesty scheme called Samrit. So this is important. Okay, this Samrit, uh, which uh, union territory or, or state have launched Samrit, it has been launched by Delhi. And who is the uh, lieutenant governor of Delhi? He is Dr. Vijay Kumar Saxena. Spiritual leader Mata Amrita Nandamaya Devi Amma has been appointed as the chair of country's Civil 20, an official engagement group of. Uh, G20 by Union Government, okay, group of 20 G20 by Union Government, who has been the chairperson of the country's civil 20, Mata Amrita Nandamai Devi. A uh, few more persons are there. Hadeep Singh Puri has authored the new book titled Delhi University. Vitana Sami is actor. Nippon Goswami passes away, obituary. This is important, okay, who recently passed away, who was a Vitana Sami is actor. He was Nippon Goswami. Jali named as executive chairman of Samsung Electronics. And the retail jewelry major Malabar becomes first Indian jeweler to import 25 kg gold from UK. So there are places in news. Uh, please have a look. Odisha, Karnataka, Ladakh. As you can see, Ladakh MP Jamyang Sering launched the Mabhi Subhas campaign. So this is important. This can be asked. Odisha CM Navin Patnaik launched Safal Common Credit Portal for Farmers. All these are important, okay? Just because they are not included in the quiz doesn't mean that they are not important. So all these are important. This, they can't come. The Aradun to host three-day Akash for Life Space Conference in November. Sorry, they were celebrated in Srinagar. 
uh, marks the 75th year of induction of army to save the state of Jammu and Kashmir from Pakistan's invasion in 1947. So, this is it. There are other places. Please have a look. Okay. Please have a look. You can pause the screen. Countries in news South, South Korea. South Korea has inaugurated the world's largest hydrogen fuel cell power plant. Okay. So, this can be asked. Now, let's discuss some important news. India has suffered income uh, income loss of 5.4 percent of gdp due to heat wave in 2021 okay you can see the news in detail on screen as well as on pdf apple announces new clean energy investments okay which company have recently announced new clean energy investments then it is apple okay nisa which is national industrial security academy at akimpet hyderabad uh, yeah, it has one union's SM trophy for best police training institution. Okay, Home Minister's trophy for best police training institution. BAC, that is Bombay Stock Exchange, it has launched electronic gold receipt. More details on the screen at the end of the PDF. BCCI decides to end discrimination, offers equal pay to men and women cricketers. A very good news. Now, men and women cricketers will be paid equally by BCCI, ending the Gender difference. India's forest reserves hit a new low. RBI forced to spend $118 billion to defend iron. World Health Organization have released first ever list of fungal infections, flags global health threat. Indian scientists developed first indigenous overhauser magnetometer. India to contribute $500,000 for UN Trust Fund for Counterterrorism. Okay, I'm, I'm reading this news uh, in a fast manner. You can just pause the screen and have a look slowly. RBI revokes authorization certificate of Chennai based GI technology. So, this is it. To get the PDF of this session, click on the link in the description box. There is a link in the description box of this video. Pay only rupees 10 via any payment method. After payment, wait for the PDF in the Google Drive link to open automatically as soon as you uh, pay. And do not press the back button and save the PDF in your device as the PDF will be lost. And the PDF of all the sessions on SSC Second or covering all state, national, international and all these things as you can see on the screen it will call uh, cost you rupees 400 for this please send a message to the whatsapp number as you can see on the screen so i hope it is clear so we complete the session thank you so much we'll meet in the next week's video don't forget to like share and subscribe to scc second bye, -bye.